Jack, uh, what's the overriding emotion after that? Um, probably a few different things. Disappointment at losing another game, of course. Pain at losing another game. That soreness, that horrible feeling you have from it. Um, I think frustration because I think it was a game that we could easily win. I think that the sending off obviously changes the, the course of the game. But even second half, I thought with ten men there was, you know, our commitment and our shape and still created one or two things and to lose the second one we'll discount the third one because the game's got a bit ragged then to lose the second one late on from a set piece is hugely disappointing as well You touched on it there but how much does the, the red card change the game? It has an impact because you're a man short you know naturally you're going to then give up some territory in possession um, it means we also have to shuffle personnel around and I thought we were playing well you know, I thought we were playing well we looked comfortable scored a really good goal looked confident in the game, looked as if we believed that we would go on to win it um, because going ahead is something we've not done that much this season as well so um, yeah, you know, look, it has a it has a big impact on it I think losing the, the, the equaliser, sorry, so quickly after half time is another um, big factor in it but commitment from the players, I don't think you can question that I, I genuinely don't and I think the reaction from our supporters at the end of the game shows me that I've been a player here, I know the supporters will tell you what they think of their performance and today I think that they applauded them because I think they knew that they gave a lot to try and get something from the game. They need to maintain that faith, the players and the supporters, for us to get out of this situation. How happy were you with the way that the team started the game today? Delighted, you know, because we it was a big decision to change the team from midweek. Obviously one change was enforced upon us, but we bring bringing Rocco back in, but we we have this real pace and the energy I keep talking about between those four other midfielders and, and we worked and we stressed to them about the importance of them getting into forward areas and, and support of John Sutton. Uh, and making those types of runs that Lewis made for the goal. So I was delighted with how they played. I thought Kim McGuinness had started the game, or the first 40 minutes of the game was terrific. Kim McAllister is just producing a consistent level of performance. Stevie Mallon is getting better and better every week as well. So I was I was really pleased. You know, I thought there was so much good things about that period. Um, and even our resilience at the end part of the first half, I know it was only seven eight minutes to see that period out. It was great. So, you know, in that period, there was loads of good things again. It looks like we're getting kicked out here. Um, how much kind of hope and confidence does that give you, that first half performance going into what's going to be a, a busy stretch of game starting on Tuesday night? Look, that confidence I have in, in a lot of players in there has never waned. I, I, I just keep stressing them that the ones that, that want to be part of this, that want to keep doing the things with the end, I'll drag them along with me because my belief in them won't change. You know, if there's one or two that don't feel that, fine. You know, that's just what happens. But there's a... Because you need stomach for this. You need character. Um and a lot of them that played today or the ones that played today showed that and it's not going to waver from me my own belief in my own abilities to do it my belief in them as a group to keep doing the things the only time my belief in them will diminish is when they don't work as hard as we do in training and they don't work as hard as they did on the pitch today and do the things they can do and don't show that they believe in their own abilities um, if they continue to do that I absolutely believe things will turn for us I do, I genuinely believe they will and I think there's enough what we've shown again today is there's plenty to show that we will turn this around Obviously, since you've come in, performances have improved and you can see that on the pitch. Um, looking at where you are on the table, do you feel it's just going to take maybe one win, one wee bit of luck to, to kick things off? I do believe that we're capable of going on our own results, yes. I, I, don't, I don't believe that the way we're playing would mean that we, could run, we would win a game and, and we would be thinking, how did we win that? Because I think that we've got the capabilities and performance level to go on that one. Um, but we need results, you know, I'm fully aware of that as well, that it's OK saying performances have improved, but it's a results-driven business. And the situation we're in means that results are a paramount importance. So it's not me trying to deflect from the importance of my job or the significance of my job, because I understand that I've you know, been involved in... in professional football with the results of the beer and all for a long time now um, so I'm not going to shy away from that but usually results go hand in hand performances so if the performance level stays where it's at then we will get results And just finally what would your message be for the fans tonight? First of all thank them for their backing today I thought their backing was terrific both in numbers in terms of volume I thought their reaction at the end of the game was terrific to the players because I think they can feed off the fact that they got a response from them for what they'd put into the game and the message I give to the players is they have to maintain that belief and stress that again to supporters. Keep believing in me, keep believing in those group of players and the ones we can add to it and we will drag them along. And when we drag them along and we get out of the situation, then they'll, they'll get that high from it. It's not where the club should be, but at that stage in this season, we'll drag ourselves out of it together.